Thanks for sticking with, him with us. Now, if you don't know, fatty liver disease is a common health concern in our community, but there are common health concern in our community diagnosed early. And here to tell us more about what that looks like is Director of Pinnacle Clinical Research, Dr. Stephen Harrison. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, doctor. Yeah, thank you, Clark. It's great to be here today. Yes, and so tell me, what is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and how common is it? Yeah, that's a great question. So non-alcoholic fatty liver is just that. It's really something that's seen in people who don't drink a lot of alcohol, but it's a disease of excess calorie intake, excess energy, as well as some genetic influences. It's commonly seen in diabetics and people that are overweight or obese, and it's really just putting extra energy stored in the form of fat in the liver. Unfortunately, that fat can sometimes cause inflammation and injury that we call NASH. And NASH can progress in about 25% of patients to cirrhosis. In fact, recent statistics have said that uh, the overall mortality rate with a diagnosis of NASH is around 7.9%, double the rate of people who do not have NASH. So it's a real problem. And why should people in our very own community out here be concerned about this or pay a little bit more attention? Yeah, I mean, I think I think that's that's the deal. And, 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 and I hear this in clinic all the time where patients come in and say, Doc, my primary care doc just told me I had cirrhosis. What's going on? How could we have diagnosed this earlier? And what can I do now that I have this diagnosis? And so I think the key is awareness. If you are in the risk category where you have maybe you have diabetes or maybe you're pre-diabetic or you're overweight or obese, ask your doctor to order liver chemistry test and maybe an ultrasound. There's also a fancy imaging study called a fibro scan that can be done at point of care. We can do that in our center. There are other centers around town that can do that as well. And that gives us a good idea about fat in the liver and if there's any injury that's being caused by that. And just curious, how is this disease diagnosed? Are there any signs that we can look out for? Unfortunately, this is a, a silent disease. It's something that builds up over time. And what often happens is it's so common, 38%, 38% of people over the age of 50 in San Antonio have this disease. If you're Hispanic, 55% have fatty liver, 24% have the more aggressive form of NASH. If you're a diabetic, 70% have fatty liver, 35% have NASH. So it's so common that our doctors just look at it and say, yes, you have fatty liver, lose weight, exercise. But they don't take the extra step to try to see if they're in that at-risk group that could progress over time to cirrhosis. So what I would say is, is ask your doctor for those additional tests. And we can also do those at Pinnacle Research as well. We have the fiber scan, but we offer that service for patients. More than happy to have a dialogue with them about where they stand with their fatty liver, and even if they have it. And how can we get more information on this disease and, and maybe even get in touch with you? Yeah, so we, so we have our website, pinnacleclinicalresearch.com, and there's also a phone number that they can reach as well. Uh, again, we have a team. I, it's not just me. Uh, there's another uh, physician, Dr. Madhvi Rudaraju, who is a transplant hepatologist, well-respected in the community. She works with me as well. We have a great team of, 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 of sub investigators that are there to stand by and help. So uh, we're just ready to, to help the community make uh, more awareness of this disease and whatever we can do to help. We have treatments that are coming. There is no FDA approved treatment currently for this disease, okay. but we are so close to finding that first treatment to help people. So again, whatever we can do to help in disease awareness, in diagnosis, and in providing treatment on top of lifestyle modification, right. we're here to help. Thank you. Right. We're here to help. Thank you. And what about for our viewers right now who are watching, do you have any special offers for them? Oh, well, I, it, the offer would be let's, let's diagnose you uh, uh, as quickly as we can if you are at risk. This, another point that I would make is this is genetically inherited in a lot of cases. Mm -hmm. So if you have a brother, sister, mom, dad that has a history of liver disease, get tested, get tested, get tested so we can see if you're okay. Absolutely. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Clark. Have a wonderful day.